Good morning, everyone. Strafecal. We are playing Super Mario World, the Halloween Island, a ROM hack. And we are up to the ghost house. So it looks like there's a ghost house and a fortress left, um, which lines up to about what I was expecting. Hoping that we can finish this, uh, this one off uh, during this video. Let's give it a shot. Okay. So crushers, we flip on and off. Weird foreground background stuff going on a little bit here with the pipes. Um, I find it interesting that the enemies go behind it and we go in front of it. That's unfortunate. What? I get it now. Panicked a little and overcorrected there at the end. Okay. Um, I am going to... I think especially given that, we're going to go back to Sleepy Cave quick. And just pick up this item and start select out. Um, oh, we hadn't even, did that not work or had I not finished? Should work. Okay. We're not going to be too cheesy, but, um, This feels like it'd be really good here. <laughs> Especially for that type of situation. Also because we can do this. Which isn't necessarily useful, but it's neat. Seriously, that one, that one's a little frustrating. Okay. We're going to go ahead and wait here. It only buys us a couple extra seconds, but it feels worth it. Uh, for whatever reason, the first time I got to that pipe, my gut reaction was that there was a muncher on the bottom. And I realized in retrospect, obviously, that there wasn't. 
Um, but that was what my mental process was at that point, was that if I pressed right against the pipe, that it would potentially end up causing me to hit a muncher and then take damage. What is that? I mean, I realize that what's going on is that we haven't hit a switch in a while, so the a crusher somewhere is going crazy. But I don't know. It's interesting that that goes on for the entire level because it is on a global timer. Take it. Ooh, there might actually be another level after this. Maybe not, though. Hard to tell. Okay, Koopa's Castle. Sometimes ROM hacks will have like an, a bonus level for credits and such. Wait, what? Oh no. Hopefully I don't need to remember that. <laughs> okay. So it's gonna be that kind of level. At least now that I know, I can watch for it. Oh, it says leave. Okay. That was me jumping into a pit. Gracefully. Um. As I realized I shouldn't have jumped yet. Whew, okay. So we want to stay back here until that happens. These are very well placed. Um, I keep panicking, which is exactly what you want out of some kind of, of these crushers, is to have them have people realize just a moment before they're going to get crushed that they shouldn't have made that choice. And if I had been on top of that platform, I would have just died. I like the fact that they give you that little window so that you have at least some uh, idea before it happens. This is definitely going to be another one. Yep. No.
I know technically you could... Oh, I definitely panicked on that one. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, we're probably going to game over again here, but the good news is there's only this level left, I think. We're not going to lose progress because there was actually a save point. That's the important part. Crunch. Okay. We will continue. No problem. Let's do this. I really don't want to run back and forth every single time to power up. Um, if we run into... If we don't eat even get a checkpoint relatively soon here, then I might. Okay. So far, so good. remember where this one was. This is exactly the same spot I died last time. Okay. We either need to get over the pipe before it falls, or we need to just wait on the very edge. That's gonna be annoying, but okay. Really? By the way, since we haven't actually had to res get any results from it, uh, if you're not familiar with Mario the re or Mario World, the reason I'm doing the spin jump every time is because the <clears throat> might have actually made progress that time. Okay, we're gonna go back and get a mushroom at least. Uh, the reason we're spin jumping is because uh, it's slightly lower 
so you're less likely to run into spikes on a ceiling. And you are uh, specifically a lot of the enemies, including the saws and the fireballs. <laughs> yes, the fireballs. Um, can be uh, uh, can be bounced on. Sorry, got distracted. Mid thought. That never happens though. I never. I always complete my thoughts as I start them. There's definitely no video proof. So, just for the record, I know that this is not actually going to help with some of the stuff. Um, what it does help with is specifically these guys. And it makes some of the jumps a little smoother. So stuff like this just goes a little bit smoother. And stuff like that. Um, specifically avoiding the fireballs. Um, I have to worry a little bit less. This is the farthest I've been, so of course it was right next to the checkpoint. And I'm guessing this is going to be a boss fight soon. No, not yet. More spikes and crushers. Different variety, though. gonna get this. I'm gonna change back to the feather for now, but I feel like having both as a toolkit is good. This is gonna be one that Very glad I hit the Switch Palace at this point. And very glad I went back for the cake for this section, because this is rough. <laughs> like, there's some tough jumps here, and the cape makes it significantly more accessible, we'll say. not going to go for any more question mark blocks because I don't have a reason to at this point. Like, genuinely, Okay. 
that thing I was just saying about the cape? <laughs> yeah. I would bet that we got very close to the end there, too. We're going to take back everything I said about question mark blocks because I don't have my fire flower or my cape anymore. One of my least favorite parts about dying the way we did, uh, and this is the second time this has happened at this point, is we got hit by a physical attack first. That physical attack knocked our item out. So we lost our feather and as a result of getting of losing our feather we uh, it releases the fire flower. When the fire flower gets released Uh, when the fire flower gets released. Oh, jeez. You have to spin jump. I didn't know you had to spin jump. They look flat. That's really obnoxious. I think we can go steal a, a cape here. I'm not sure if it's going to disrupt our checkpoint. But we're almost at a game over anyway. So I'm going to try it. Oh, this is one of those. I don't. That little thing. That is the first time I've actually been a little frustrated with it because there is no indication up until that point of how those spikes. Work. Um, Like most of the things you can figure out whether you what you need to do. But there have been several things that you just had to regular jump on. And there's no indication of how those spike physics work. And you have no second chances, no nothing. So, okay, good. Like, I'd almost say the same thing with the statue. When I jumped on the statue, I didn't know whether I was supposed to spin jump or not. And while you can probably spin jump for the sake of it, like, it's safer generally to spin jump than not. Um, and I'll be fair and say, I should have spin jumped both on the statue and on those spikes. But the fact that there's no indication is a little annoying. Like, that's the first time we've even seen those spikes right there. What? 
was a pretty small hop. Okay. The difficulty definitely ramps up as this goes. Um... I'm gonna see if I need to redo the checkpoint or not. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna get up to a double cape and see if we need to redo the checkpoint and we will be right back. Okay, so we have made it back. to the checkpoint with two feathers. And while it probably won't matter if I have two feathers, I figure it's better safe than sorry. You know, as soon as I said that, I knew I was gonna regret it. Stuff like that is why it might not matter. <laughs> because there's so much in this that just kills you and then kills you a second time before you get a chance to use your or to catch your power up. Oh, okay. We are going to basically just do cuts here to get back to it. do that section in one go. This one we can go slow. And this is the last time we can go slow, I believe. Um, while Double Cape is amazing for the platforming sections, there is something really nice about having a Fire Flower for any potential boss. Um, if it's a Resnor style boss, it's not necessarily good, but anything else it is. <laughs> oh. 
Hey, did you know that pushing up on doors is actually one of the hardest things to do in Mario? Specifically Mario World? Uh, at least it's not as bad as going up a pipe. So I think if I can get back to that same point, uh, that really just goes right there just shows you what I'm talking about. Um, I think if I can get back to that point, rather than trying to get in the door the first time, it might be better to try and get in the door. That's really bad, isn't it? This is fine. Everything's fine here. I mean, I suppose the good news is, technically, this can make this section slightly easier. The cape itself is still really nice for being able to drift on the sides. But being big, it does give you a slightly smaller window for when you're going through certain sections. Um, this is me looking for silver lining and then immediately Proving that I only somewhat mean it by grabbing the mushroom. I do not know what the hitboxes on these skewers is, by the way. That's part of the reason I'm being slightly extra cautious. If you are a very good Mario player who knows what those hitboxes are, then I apologize for how terrible I'm probably doing this. Guessing that one of these has an item. Nope. This is the one I'm most worried about, honestly. Okay. That wasn't even me trying to go in the door. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, finally. Okay. This doesn't look like a boss. Oh no. 
Please say there's a save point. I don't... Can I make that jump? With a cape, I can. I don't think I could have without it, though. Okay, I guess we're here. Let's see what this is. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna keep shooting at the fireballs, I guess. Nope. sure how many hits this guy takes, but he... Oh, man. <sighs> okay. Now we get to find out whether or not... <sighs> now we get to figure out whether or not there were any save points along that, or if it's just the one. Okay, I have obtained a cape. Counter last life. Let's see if the save point is there. It is still the same save point. So, this game has two fairly challenging rooms and a boss all on the same save point. You know, I was feeling like this was a pretty good hack up until this point. <laughs> uh, this is genuinely unpleasant at this point. Uh, we'll s see how it goes. Uh, there are definitely no more capes, so even if we can get another, like, fireball, uh, we're not going to be able to get another cape. Which, I mean, I guess is fine. Cape would be very nice for that boss, based on what we've seen. Which is not much. I mean, I suppose the good news is, that's probably it. We were told at the beginning, the story was that we were... Uh, out to defeat the- Are you serious? Out to defeat the masked Koopa. Like, that's really all the story we got, so... Okay. I think we're in montage mode. <laughs> okay, so we've made it back to the last section here. wish this section or that the uh well no because that first i don't know i wish there were two checkpoints in this level that's really where i'm going with this <laughs> okay let's see oh okay that's different um, 
Okay, so he has the, like, stomp power from... Okay, so it's the different uh, Koopa shell powers that Yoshi gets when he eats them. So blue, it's okay. So yellow is the rocks fall. Um, red is fireballs. Blue is fly and stomp, it looks like. A little slow down. Okay. <laughs> I'm at least getting pretty good at it. <laughs> See you in the next try. <laughs> okay. Two feathers this time. That's unfortunate. was kind of cool. Kind of. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, I don't actually know if fireballs really work on his regular form. And I guess we still won't know. is the one we want to see the most, I would say, at this point. Yellow's not too bad. Oh. So that last time I was one hit away. Giant Koopa has been defeated, and now the Koopas are no longer zombies. The end. You know, at least there was a happy <laughs> Okay. Let's see if there's anything left. This loops back around. Continue and save. The end. Feel free to rest here. It's raining there. Oh, okay. And does this just loop back around then? No? Okay. 
So, I'll be pretty brief with this one. Super Mario World is awesome. Uh, this had some really cool ideas. The two complaints I have... Actually, no. I'll say three. Going back, I have to take my brain out of the last level for a minute. <laughs> um, the... I guess, technically, save points is a problem throughout. Um, there was not a way to save up until you got to the Switch Palace. And then the Ghost House and the Castle were back to back. I wish the Ghost House was earlier, so that you had that as a point to save, or that there was an automatic save function. Or that you had infinite lives, or just got one-ups at all, ever. Um, like, it's not super hard, but it's hard enough that it... that I did game over three, four times? Um, some of the levels were more Halloween-themed than others. Some of them, it was just the, the background and the blood and the, like, tombstones. But they felt out of place. Some of them, it felt more appropriate. Um, I did like the enemy sprite redesigns and such, though. Uh, and last, that last level was a huge difficulty spike, and it needed another save point. I realize that you probably can't do that in this game. Um, but then there should have been one less room, or the room should have been... Rooms should have been spaced out better to not have it be quite as long of a journey back. Because that was two rooms and a boss at the end, and we still barely made it. Even after, at that point, a couple continues. So, yeah. Um, overall, great game. Uh, there'll be a link in the description. If you enjoyed, check it out. Um, if you enjoy this, definitely check out my uh, other content. I've got a playthrough of Mario World. I've got a couple playthroughs of... Uh, like uh, Super Mario 3 Mix, if you like ROM hacks, uh, which I highly recommend checking out. Uh, and as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.